you finally got the courage to chop off your hair. It looks super cute when you left your hair stylist, but now you're at home and you have zero idea how to style it. Stay tuned and I'll show you the very easy way to style your fun new short hairdo. As you can see, I did recently cut my hair. And even though I'm a hairstylist, I had to adjust the way I do my hair when it is shorter. And I thought it was a perfect time to show you exactly what you need to do and what you may need to change once you finally chop off all your hair. I like to start with a clip. It's so much easier to section off your hair and really get in there if you are sectioning it off. So I take larger sections when my hair is shorter especially on the very bottom half, because it does not matter too much what the underneath looks like, especially on my hair, because I have a lot of hair. I don't want this hair up underneath to be super curly, especially when I'm curling my hair. I do also have to adjust my curling iron size. Normally I will use an inch and a quarter, and this is closer to one inch, maybe even three quarters of an inch of a curling iron. As you can see, my hair does rest kind of on the top of my shoulders, but what I have to change is when I am curling my hair, I need to start curling up higher on my, closer to my scalp and take the curling iron down through my hair. I do want to leave my ends straighter. I will show you a little trick at the end of this, so make sure you stay tuned for that trick. So like I said, I don't do a whole lot on this underneath section, focusing the curl up towards the root, unwinding my hair and gradually kind of letting that hair fall out. I do still kind of tug on it while it is warm to the touch because I don't want it to be super curly. And then everything back behind my ears, I'm just gonna take larger sections, still doing exactly the same technique, curling it more towards my scalp, not focusing on my ends, but with taking those larger sections, it's just not gonna be as curly. It's gonna give it just a tiny bit of a wave. And then I wanna know whoever is watching right now, who has long hair and is thinking about cutting their hair short. I want you to type long in the comments if you are just thinking about cutting it short. Because I will tell you in the summer months, I love when my hair is shorter. I don't wear it up as often whenever it is cut short. For some reason, the longer it is, the more often I wear it up and I just like my hair down better. So if I start getting into the habit of just putting it up all the time, I know it's time to cut it. All right, so now let's really get into the rest of this hairstyle. So I'm gonna just take it in one more little section, still larger sections than what I normally do with my hair. And this is where you're really gonna be able to see the technique on curling it. So again, I'm gonna grab this front section, all the hair towards my face. I like it curled away from my face. So we are gonna put the curling iron in straight up and down vertical, and we are gonna start twisting it instantly. Let it hold in there for just a few seconds, and then we are gonna kinda of unravel the hair and then twist again. just like that and then i am going to tug on it because i don't want it to be super super curly now this is where it gets a little bit different we're going to alternate those curls so again still taking a pretty wide section but now we're going to curl it towards the face like this letting some of that hair drop out and as you notice i'm not really doing the ends at all and we're just going to continue this all the way around my head alternating curls and I will tell you now is a perfect time to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button I love seeing you guys subscribe I greatly appreciate all of your support so go do it right now and then if at any time while you guys are watching this video and you end up liking it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as well it really helps push this video out to more people on YouTube and hey, who doesn't want help trying to style their new fresh cut? Okay, we are gonna continue this all the way around, alternating these curls. Okay, 
right, here's where the fun is. This is really where you're gonna see most of the style. What I notice when my hair is shorter, I do like a lot more lift up on the top, kind of brings the fun, bouncy waves into it. And when my hair is longer, I don't, for some reason, like a lot of curl on top. So this is one tip I like to give you if you have shorter hair and you're new to shorter hair, maybe focus a little bit more of your curl on top and have kind of more of the straighter ends. So we are gonna take front section. I always curl away from the face, so we are gonna do that now. Again, trying to hold that curling iron straighter up on the scalp, holding the curling iron on the scalp a little while longer before we unravel and make our way all the way down. So you're gonna have a lot more bounce up higher than what you normally do. Now we're gonna take this front section and curl it towards the face. Holding it up for more curl towards the scalp. Start unraveling it and continue that all the way around. So I know some of you may not be able to spend all of your time on YouTube. So I am all over social media. I'm on TikTok, I do Instagram Reels, I am on Facebook. So if you want shorter content, those are perfect platforms for you guys to come watch me and see kind of the fun hair videos that I do that are shorter so you're not sitting on Instagram super long. Love Instagram, but I know sometimes mindless scrolling is fun too. So go check those out and I will link those down below. So now we are gonna take a peek and make sure we do not have any super straight pieces. As you can see, this guy we missed right here, so we are gonna curl that one. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. Now we let the curl set, and I am gonna use a hairspray. This is a fast drying hairspray. I will link this down below if you wanna try any of the products. I make it super, super easy for you to just click a link. This one is by Paul Mitchell, and it's called their Firm Style. And then we just let it cool off while it's cooling off. You can definitely tell it's a lot more Shirley Temple than what I wear my hair, but this is where that hack is coming in where I told you wait to the very end because I have a little trick for you. Once you have cooled off, I like to break up all these curls. So you can go through, break them all up, make sure it doesn't look Shirley Temple. And then this is where I determine if I want any more curls up higher on this top section. So if I wanted a little bit more volume up here, I could take my curling iron and hold my hair straight up at 90 degrees and just put or add a few more curls up on the top of my head. Again, this is all personal preference. You guys hear me say that all the time. Some people may not like a lot of volume. I personally have a very long face. And so to help kind of offset my long face, I need a little bit more volume on top. So this is why I like to have a little bit more curl on this top section. Okay, you guys ready for my hack? Now we're gonna take the flat iron. I love when the ends are a little bit straighter. So when your hair is shorter, it is harder to not curl all the way to the ends just because you don't have a whole lot of length of hair that you're curling and the curling iron is a certain length. So I will then take my flat iron and just grab the ends of my hair and straighten those pieces. I do have layers so you can grab up a little bit higher and just kind of straighten out anywhere you feel like it might be just a little too tight or a little too Shirley Temple. This is definitely more of a trend that is kind of hot right now where the ends, it's not curled all the way through. It makes your hair look a tiny bit longer if you feel like it's looking a little too short. And when it's curled, it does kind of shrink up a little bit but this will give you kind of a trendier curl pattern. 
And really, I just kind of just look and feel where I want to have kind of straighter ends. And you can even, if you feel like it's a little too curly in some spots, you can just kind of run your flat iron over spots that seem just a tiny bit too curly. Again, like I said, I like a lot of lift right here, but I don't really love it to be too Shirley Temple. So look at the difference. This looks like maybe you're 12 years old and you just curled your hair. And this is a little bit more trendy, a little kind of softer curl, more beachy, but just looks a lot better. Not saying this is not something that someone may not want, but I just personally like my hair better like this on the left hand side. And this is probably more of what your hairstylist does to your hair. And so when you do it on your own hair, this sometimes is what you get and you're really hoping for more of the look your hairstylist gave you. So that is my trick. The flat iron, even though you want curls, can be your friend when it comes to styling short hair. Now let's match it on this side. Okay, what do you guys think? I wanna hear it down in the comments. Do you think this is something you can mimic to your own short hair? If you were one that wrote short in the comments, super, super easy. And then I do like to go back in with a little texturizing spray. This is Joyco. You guys all know I like Joyco and this is called Beach Shake. And we are just gonna spray that through. Keep that texture going with that kind of curl and flat iron look. And really set our hair. I absolutely love it and I hope you guys too. As always, if you have any questions at all about any of the things I just did to my hair, leave me a comment down below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.